Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are checking out a cool fan-made game by a single developer named Sean Noonan there. This is the Super 1-1 Challenge. And basically, this is Super Mario if he had a gun in first person. But we are using the Unreal Engine mod from Prey Dog once again to put it into VR. So... Let's check it out here. This looks super freaking fun. It's quite interesting and pretty funny too. I can't wait to check it out. Check out the menu here. Got a few words of how he developed it in Unreal 4. Definitely really cool. I will leave all the links in the description down below for you if you want to download it. Check out the Discord, the Twitter, and the YouTube. So let's get into this. Holy moly, look at this crap. This is kind of wild looking. Now, it's kind of got this little bit of a blur to it, which is a little wild. But nonetheless, we are definitely in a 3D world here for Mario. And we are jumping all over the place, shooting our plunger at people. And it's pretty freaking wild looking. I'm not going to lie to you. I am sure with a little bit of playing around, we can definitely play this in full six off. It probably is very, very simple to do. But it's really freaking cool just to be able to, to look around with the headset. And be able to just shoot these Goombas. Oh, man, these are freaking hilarious. The coins are, like, life-size, which is absolutely wild. Like I said, it does kind of have this blur to it, but I only... Holy crap, he came out of nowhere. Oh, that's super cool. Holy moly. This is wild. Freaking wild. And I just love how it's all, like... It, I don't know, man. It, you know, a lot of people complain that not being able to use the motion controllers really takes away from the VR. And I completely understand that, but I'm telling you, I'm having a blast like this, just playing with mouse and keyboard. Oh my gosh, we died. Too bad. Let's try again. Definitely. Alright, let's try it. But, I just find the world so much more immersive when you're playing in VR no matter what. Like, it's, yeah, it kind of sucks having to use the mouse and keyboard for some games, and I wish I could really spend the time to just learn how to modify each and every single game with UE VR. I'm hoping sooner or later they make it really easy uh, for us to do, because at the moment, it just takes so much time in order to get in there and, and really mod it like you want to. And it definitely sucks for the time being, but I'll take it for what it is right now. Oh no, we failed again. Boy, we're horrible at this. And this has got to be a huge level though. Really cool for a developer to, to come up with something like this. You want to try to get as many points as you can within a certain amount of time limit here. Oh, man, but it's so cool, because it's like Mario's going on a rampage with his plunger here. It's freaking hilarious. And it runs, actually, very, very well, even in VR. You'd think it probably wouldn't, but it definitely does. Oh, I probably should have done that, because there's a one-up over there, or a coin. Holy moly, look at him. Holy cow. Can't fall off. Get the points. We're not going to try to jump for that again. We are going to get up here and try to get our points like we did before. Alright, let's see if we can move on to a, another spot. Take that, Goomba. I just love how there's so many different ways we can approach the level. Oh, man. Holy cow, what's going on here? Uh-oh. Am I stuck? Nope. Okay. Very, very interesting, and it also feels really good in VR. That little blur is kind of like with the clouds right there. That feels odd, but 
I think I could definitely get rid of that eventually. By playing around, that seems to be a simple thing that's actually on quite a few of these VR mods. Or modded games, I, I should say. Boy, what a blast this is. This is a great fan-made game. Like if Mario just... Hey, holy cow, what is that? But look at just how immersive it is. Just The world is crazy. Holy cow, look at him. Nuts, dude. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, we even got to jump for the freaking... Look at this. Oh my gosh, we got to go back up there and try to do this. Oh, man. We got to try to jump up there. Oh, boy. Yeah! We did it! Congratulations! We got 93% of them. And only one of the nine coins. Holy cow, we got a lot to do still. Thank you so much for the... Anyways, I just wanted to show you this because this is a really cool, really cool game. I've actually enjoyed it. It's just really simple and easy. And to throw it in UEVR is just, you know, something we obviously had to do. So, as always, links will be in the description below if you want to try it. If you like what you saw, definitely, definitely make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, let me know what kind of time you got down below, because uh, obviously this is a time trial thing. We will see y'all in the next video.